Ajay Boy, I'm a comedian. Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian on a personality. Uh, I'm also a cartoonist. House of Ajay Boy in the building. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. <laughs> My first car. <laughs> Honda End of Discussion. EOD. Mm, that car show me pepe. Oh my god. Not like it was a bad car, it was a good car. You know, but I have plenty of problems with that car show. Oh, we'll get to that. Now see the car. This is one story. Now see the car. I still remember I was going for I was going for a show at a cool hotel that time. I was at Omole Phase 2. Uh, it was, ah, I think it was Hedis some years ago. Uh, you know? So, at Tomole now, you know, say we don't already plan, say we'll give them tuxedo today. We'll give them. Now, I can't dress from the Tomole and I forgot my belt at home. It's so hilarious. So now, I had to come back to so hilarious. So instead of heading straight to Tony Land, I branched off on top of Anthony Bridge. Now, if you use EOD or you have somebody that uses EOD or you see people parking on the road, the tire they always do like this. So, after some time, the tire goes like this. You just the walk out, you just drive your car, you like your bed, the neck will just fall out. So, so. Just on top of the bridge. My own was not one tire, it was the two tires, one day like this. The other one did like this, so the car from front, now you can see the car like this. Two tires, come like the car get killed. That was the end of the journey. That was the end of the award I was going for. Everything ended there. I know where the problem is. When you now come down, people go see they hail you like say show you. Hey, I just bought far now. Your car spoil. Hey, uh, hey, I just bought far now. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, this guy. <laughs> Hey, you know, some people will even want to take picture. That's wickedness. That's wicked people. So I think that's the. <laughs> you call it funny, but it was really pretty embarrassing. Yeah? And that was the day I decided that was the last day I would drive that car. They told it to the mechanic from there. From there, we put it online and we sold it. The way I take care of my car, my girlfriend supposed to vest. I stand because it will share attention. So I don't have a bad name for the car because that would just be the height of problem. He already takes as much attention as a girlfriend should take. So come give her name. He's personalizing your problem. So no, I don't have a name for my car. My life before I got a car, first of all, I want to start by saying a car is not luxury, it's a necessity. You see, uh, <laughs> before I got my car, it have tea that shaka rice in my body. It have tea when I started to go package. So before I bought my own car, I was driving my father's car with a Chevy car. So when you go work, come back, I'll take over ownership till the next morning. So I'll come out, I'll go events, go after party, go club everywhere. So when he's not ready to go work the next morning, he go wait for me. You can never come back my own. So sometimes early morning, at that time, I made a pencil, comedian, who used to roll, he used to live in a corridor. My family has to so living. So if we go for a show, after the show, we not feel lodged now, we just see the come up. We we'll drive go to Kurudu for night. We're road free. When you're driving back in the morning, oh, 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 oh. Have you cooked in traffic before? My life before I got a car, uh, it was a problem because, first of all, I, I just one day I just said I would never enter down for again. Then I said I'll be entering the package one, BRT. You need for PRT, somebody go call your name from back. You can't do like say, man, you're not in the mood to drive, so you just like take a bus, you start, like, hey, how you doing, man? They don't ask you, you can't just play around. I just, just, I just, I just, I just tired of driving, like, cause traffic, you know. So, you just like take a bus today. You know. 
Oh, they ask you. So it was really frustrating that when you get there, when you have shows to go to, I just, it was frustrating. My life before the car. But after the car, hey, so start to, I can't go anywhere without my car. And besides, um, I like to drive. You know, I drive myself. I love driving. I don't get tired of driving. If I don't trust any other person to drive me, that's how bad it is. I have trust issues with people driving me. You know, so um, it's it's. I'm really really attached to my car. I can I can decide not to go. In fact, it's not I can. If there's no, if I'm not driving there, or I don't have my car is not available, leave it. You know, so basically, my life before. My car frustrating. My life after my car, B man. Talking about how my car has impacted my career. Of course, it has because you know, um, driving a good car has a lot to do with your packaging, the way you are, the way you, the way you come up, appear at events. You know, and for us entertainers, we like to like give it. You have to drive a classic car. You have to. Just give it some touch up, even if it lets it just look different from the regular car, you know. <laughs> not be safe, it, it's not necessarily compulsory, though, but you know, it has really impacted my career because I mean, you yeah, drive a good car, it says a lot about you, especially as a man, they necessarily do.